Barricades for bus drivers, it's already a go in Pinellas County, which has some wondering if Hart will do the same. Meanwhile, this comes after the murder of one of their own while on the job. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us how Pinellas County leaders found the money so quickly to make it happen. For three weeks, bus drivers all over the Bay Area have been pleading for help. We need this now, ASAP. Yesterday, we needed this. Glass barricades protecting drivers, shielding their blind spots, potentially buying them extra time to call for help if someone is attacking them on their bus. The next hour, the next minute, the next second. So the longer you wait of getting these barricades and these buses, you know, possibly it could happen again. PSTA announced Friday they found money to install those enclosures on all 210 buses. Pinellas County Bus Union Rep April Murphy says PSTA took nearly $1 million it already set aside for a project involving the Parkside Terminal to make it happen. Marcus Kincaid says union members in Hillsborough County came to their meeting last week to see what type of shields they're installing. He's hoping they are reporting back to Hart using the recent momentum with ideas that can happen right away. My career here, I've been, what, 24 years now? This is like the first time I've ever seen both sides of the bay come together to try to get something done. The barricades in Pinellas will look like this. They're slightly taller and will extend out farther than the previous prototype, giving the driver even more protection. Hart says they are still working with union members to get the right type of partitions for them and are hoping to announce that with a cost point attached sometime this week. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.